Okay, um, I'm going to talk you through the Styles dialog box now and sort of all the wonderful things it can do. Um, I've currently got two styles in my model. So I've got the um, color by layer. Whoops. So let's just delete our section cut as well. That's for later. Uh, we've got color by layer and I've got the architectural design style, which I made a little few modifications to. Now, the styles control the way that everything looks and behaves and the section cuts behave within a specific view or a specific scene which are displayed across the top in SketchUp. You can only have one style applied to a scene. But you can have many scenes and you can have many styles. A couple of things you would need to bear in mind if you create styles for a view and you want to keep all these styles then using this toggle, it has to be the in model styles, using that you can save collection as. You might have 50 different styles in here, uh, all for sort of different scenes. So save collection as and then call it something. I've called mine wardrobe and then we OK that. And then if I wanted to go back to my model and purge the unused styles, I think OK, I've got too many things to choose from. I want to keep it simple. But then I wanted to bring them back in a little bit later. I could just go down to the wardrobe and my styles would be there again, I can sort of mess around between these two things. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, the reason this is colored is simply because it's color by layer. So the style is depicting, um, as far as my layers go, all these colors represent the objects within this view. But in reality, none of them have been colored in yet. If I was going to render this, I'd want to add some materials and various colors to this and make it look nice and pretty. But as far as, um, even though it's on the uh, shader with textures, because there's no color applied, it's showing up as the default colors, which are in the styles editor. So if I was to edit this and look at the, surf the, the surfaces, then you would see the front color is this and the back color is that. If I was to change the front color to gray and OK that, then this is all going to turn into gray. Also, I get this little symbol appearing on my styles saying, this architectural design style has now been changed. What do you want to do? Update it or what? So if I didn't want to update it, then I'd have to go back to my edit, take that back down to OK, to the white, and then leave it at that. So everything I do in this style dialog box to edit any one of these styles, whether it's the edges, so I can add jitter, endpoints, extensions, depth queue, I can do all of that, make it look really messy, which I don't want to do. Then that would also say, well, you've changed the style update. So that, any of these settings, and even if I do them up here, this, is re this replicates this one. So if I change that to a hidden line, then I'm going to get this symbol appearing again. So I'll change it back to materials. That's a default sort of like position for this style. I've also got background settings. So I want to show the sky, the ground. If I do, then I need to update this. And okay, you can see these things appearing in this window as well. Turn the words off as well. And in watermarks, if I added a watermark, or if I just change maybe the section cut width to two, then again I get this symbol saying update. So anything that you change within the styles, or anything you change within a specific style, You'll either need to create a new style or just update the existing style. Okay, so that's something about those. Now, styles also control what happens to section cuts. Okay, do you see the section cut? Do you see the section plane? Do you not see the section plane? Do you not see the section cut? Now, currently, this is set to not display section cuts or display section planes. So, if I was to apply a section plane by clicking on the section plane icon, pop it up there even though I can see this at the moment, because when I apply a section plane, it automatically cuts and shows the plane. If I was to select this, and you have to select this box around it, okay, don't select the arrow, you'd be there all day trying to pick it up from this bit. Choose one of these bits and move it through. Creating a section cut through my model. If I click back to my architectural design style, I'm not displaying it. Okay, it is there, but it's just not being shown because my section cut says do not display planes. That. 
do not display cuts flat. By default, a style will have the planes and the cut showing. Now, I personally don't like this thing to be viewed. I'd rather go into layout and put my own section cut markers on there. This thing kind of makes a bit of fog around it, and I just don't like these, um, these arrows or anything else. So if I was to right-click on this and align view, and then go to camera and parallel projection, and then go back to my architectural design style, I have now got an orthographic sort of end elevation sorted out. It's nice and flat. Okay, so this camera and parallel projection makes the view flat. If I created a scene, then I would be able to retain this view within that scene. So I'll do that, and I'll go view, uh, animation, and add scene. There's also a scene dialog box, so window and scenes. So that generates this thing. So I've got one scene. Okay, so whatever I do to my model, you see it looks a bit weird now because it's in parallel projection and not perspective. And I just click back on my scene. That's going to just take it back to where it was. So if I right click and add scene, and then I decide to show section cut, now I've got a section through it. This happens. So if I wanted to create or update this scene, let's just instead of adding one, we'll update scene two. There's going to be a warning sign flashing up saying, what do you want to do because the styles change? So let's see what that reads. Update. And it says, you're creating or updating a scene and have not saved the changes you've made to your style. So what would you like to do with your style change? Save as new style, update selected style, or do nothing to save changes. Now, I would never do nothing to save changes. I would either do one of these two things. Now, in this case, I want to save as a new style because I want to call this one uh, cut section. Okay, so I'll update my scene and I need to go back to my in model because I'm looking at the wardrobe, which is looking at a external file for my styles. And I'll go into my model and I will see architectural design style one, architectural design style, and the cut by layer or color by layer, should I say. So I'm going to rename this to cut. Oops, one T will do. So cut and then click on this to set that to cut. And now I've got this style, which is just not cutting anything. I've got this one, which is cutting things. So now I've got a lot of flexibility. So what I'm now going to do is right click and add scene. And I'm going to a front view and I'm going to set it to the architectural design style, which basically gives me the front view of this. And I will update that scene. If I don't update it, then it's not going to reflect the changes that have been made. So scene two is my side section. Scene one is my side elevation. Scene three is my front elevation. And I just keep going with that. If I wanted then to start applying color to this, um, I could create a new style. And we'll look at that in the next video.